Hello everyone, this is Ayya Salman Nadeem. In our previous tutorial, we have studied how to integrate a REST API in your Angular application and uh, we have successfully achieved that. I am continuing this tutorial from that part of the video and uh, this is the data we have received from our API. Uh, but for now, before moving forward with the POST API, I am going to show you how to deploy your Angular application in a cPanel server. Understood? There are a lot of questions raised and I haven't seen any video on YouTube which is straight showing you people how to uh, live your application on a domain. So for this, we are going to have a cPanel. You can see this is a cPanel. This is my perfect working cPanel. And you can see, just go to the file manager. Here you see public.html. Simply create a folder, Angular app live. Put that in a file index.html and my domain is https shipgen.com slash angular app live. You can see you can I just created a folder and whatever I'm gonna write here. Yes, And here we retrieve the information whatever we have right in the index.html now moving towards our angular application so in the previous tutorial we have successfully achieved our API integration uh, which is only get we will study delete post put patch also but before moving into that side I thought that I want that I uh, tell you how to deploy your Angular app on a cPanel server npm run and gpred let's see if it cause an error or not hopefully it is not it's not because we haven't write any malicious code inside so generating browser application bundles um, I have put it inside a folder angular app live but if you want to put it on shikchen.com you just don't need to create any folder inside public html and put all the code of your application which i'm going to put inside the folder on your public html directory this is your root directory let's see if our application build has been turned on now. Generally, it takes some time, so you need to be patient for that. And we have successfully generated the build of our application. And you can see here is a disk folder. This folder is the conclusion of all of the things we have done here. This is this is basically our build folder. So without wasting time, let's go to this folder. We'll be in file explorer. <coughs> and this is the boot of your whole application. So for that you just need to compress it. 
you see test my app which is my app name and all of the product files inside the my application named folder simply add to archive save it go to your cpanel hosting uh, I am reminding you again if you want to put it on .com you have to do the same what I am doing with the angular app dot live here I mean in this inside this folder whatever I am going to do you have to do it here right so upload just simply crack and crop now we don't need this file anymore so I just trash it Simply now extract your folder here and you will receive all of the files here. Then just go to index.html. Angular app live UR. This is a necessary thing. You go inside index.html and replace grid space here. Simply go to that URL and you can see the application is working fine. So, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you have learned how to deploy your Angular application on a cPanel server, and uh, later on, I will discuss it with uh, I'll discuss Heroku and AWS as well. But for now, uh, I am done with this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, follow, subscribe to my channel to get healthy updates in development and uh, keep promoting. Thank you.